Hey folks, Quill18 here, and first of all, I want to apologize for the lack of what I consider to be a real video for today, but I have been busy as heck managing the many, many, many pull requests that you guys have been providing for Project Porcupine. The project is alive and well, and things are really, really exciting. I do want to make a revised video showing the git slash github, um... Uh, workflow progress. In particular, I want to demonstrate an example of resolving a conflict on a merge because with so many people working on it, it's very likely that a file that you have been working on to make a feature may have been tweaked by someone else. And depending on what those tweaks are, sometimes the merge will go together seamlessly. That's fine. And other times there will be a conflict and we'll look into resolving that as well as keeping your own build up to date. Uh, and we'll probably, I'll try to do a think a tutorial on just the command line tools themselves because the GitHub desktop tool seems to be a little wonky for people. And a lot of people seem to be having the issue where they can't really update from the, the official official master branch for whatever reason because the workflow is a little bit weird uh, so it might just be more reliable to use the command line tools so something like that will come as well as the pure C sharp example uh, program like a tutorial for complete beginners to programming you can make a simple little micro game um, in in pure C sharp just on the console which is going to be a lot of fun anyway I did want to go and then take a moment to look at some of the changes over the last two days that have been implemented here first of all we've gotten 20 contributors, which is just amazing. Apparently I've got some, uh, some extra branches here in the main project that I need to clean up. That's my responsibility there. We still have a bunch of, you know, outstanding issues. People are using this for a great way to make some good discussions of topics of things when they're looking for feedback about how they make, want to make a change, which is great. At some point, if people have brought up a few times, we'll probably want some sort of official sort of roadmap, you know, like a target, like for version 0.1, here are the features we'd like to have working. Uh, certainly probably set up the wiki at some point for that. But for now, the issues area is absolutely the best place to have those discussions. So we'll keep doing that. You can see uh, here, actually, the, a discussion has been opened by Emil Chris about how to handle this uh, localization. Localization has actually been something that we've implemented already. If we take a look at the um, commit 63 commits, just a ridiculous amount of them. Some are small, especially when I'm updating the, the, con the contributing file, for example. But some of them are huge, and there's still some outstanding pull requests that i got to get to at some point. Um, I've spent, like, basically the last uh, well Tuesday, Wednesday, and half of today so far managing these pull requests and you guys are really impressive but we may have to uh we definitely have to look at maybe getting someone else to help out with that uh because testing the requests and then um you know merging them in takes a little bit of time 111 people have forked this well there's 111 forks i suppose someone could have forked it more than once can you Actually, I'm not sure. So there might be just 111 of you out there who have forked this project and are working on it, which is really exciting. Okay, so what's the state of the game right now? Well, if you open it up in Unity right now, you're going to see like weird stuff over here. Like what happened to our buttons? Why are they all broken? It's because we have localization in, which is fantastic. Let me uh, let's say maximize on play over here. Hit play. Uh, now you can see once we're in the game, the buttons work great, and we got a little pull-down menu here. Obviously, the interface still will get developed, we'll get an options menu, but do you want your buttons in, du in Dutch? Or sorry, Dutch. German. Deutsch. Do you want them in Deutsch? Or do you want them in Espanol over here? Or do you want them to be in U.S. English? How amazing is that? You guys are so kick-ass. We didn't have any localization in on Tuesday. And then two days later here, we have localization of everything in the UI, the build menu, all that. Uh, other changes. Well, now building a floor is now a job. That is something that happens. We've got a little circle cursor back again for building floors. A lot of people were really disappointed when that had gone away. Um... Oh, one of these buttons just says build over here. I think someone added, uh, in one of the uh, the pull requests, someone added a new object type. Yeah, there you go, with a cool little graphic over here. But um, the localization for it is clearly not complete. So that, which is fine, because most likely this person made that change before localization was in. And so we just have to add localization data there. Or, you know, maybe a better fallback code of some kind. This is, uh, oh, this is the power generation! Yes, someone added in power generation mechanic. Let's open up the uh, the old pathfinding test. Um, oh, what's another cool change? This is another cool change. You can build a door on top of a wall like that. Oh, we don't have any material. Right, so I need to, um, I guess I can just uh, save, uh, put in some file name, and then reload. I still We still have our test code in there to, look at this. This looks a little bit better than before as well. Oh no, the clicking doesn't work. Oh no. Oh, oh, we'll have to go and take a look at that. I also know that someone's working on a delete button here. Someone's working on the code to double click on this. Oh, there you go. Maybe the hitbox is just a little bit weird. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. Um, there we go, reloaded. So now we've actually got steel. And yeah, so we can build doors 
just on top of walls like that, which is fantastic. Some of the code has been fixed up as well to more cleanly um, uh, construct, deconstruct, update uh, adjacent tiles when something gets deconstructed, for example. Uh, a bunch of optimizations have been made to pathfinding, to job selection. Really, really, really fantastic stuff. Um, performance is a lot better. I mean, we weren't seeing the performance problems yet because it was such a simple map, but people have already identified what would have been huge performance bottlenecks and dramatically cut things down. The, uh, the redevelopment of the graph the entire pathfinding graph when we update a piece of furniture has been dramatically optimized. It's fantastic. You guys are just the best. Um, so many, so many changes have been put in here and not everything is um, is evident from this particular play over here. There's been a lot of stuff set up for the future, which has been good. I just, I mean, I love that. <laughs> That's fantastic localization. Um, obviously the UI system still needs a revamp. Um, and one of the things I would like to see, I think, is the idea of... Uh, having the UI be a little bit more code-driven, that way we don't have to really modify the scene too much, uh, because the the one thing that's a little harder to resolve conflicts on and deal with certain issues in uh, in Git and GitHub uh, is with the Unity-specific files. It's hard to do some merges on the scene. On the other hand, really, the only time anyone has to make a change to the Unity scene itself is mostly if they modify the UI. So the, right now, in our project, for our purposes, the scene is really the user interface. So the only time this will get tweaked is if someone makes a change to the actual, um, there we go, to the actual like canvas and that, which is actually pretty good. Or I suppose if they go ahead and um, add a new controller or make a change to the controller. We have we did have one person, the person who's working on the double clicking for the save buttons was a save and load button um, so that you could just double click on something, especially in the load menu particularly, to double click and load, which again is, is not in there yet, um, but was, gonna, was trying to add a tag to the OK button, which would have modified the UI, which might have been OK, but I think there's probably a better way to do that. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for doing that. There will be a video coming out that will um, take another crack at being a good tutorial for the Git, GitHub contribution, pull request, etc. Uh, workflow, and specifically, we'll try to address what happens when you get a merge conflict, which, again, can happen in a few different ways, but in particular, when I'm going through here and doing the pull request, um, I often, I sort them based on maybe the most recently updated, sometimes I base them on the ones that have the most upvotes, sometimes I like the ones that have the most comments, because they're probably the ones that have been addressed and talked about a lot more, um, and so I might accept one pull request, then go to yours and find out that there's now a conflict. I think, is this one that shows there's a conflict? There is right over here. So um, I, I can't accept this pull request as is until that, that, that conflict gets resolved, which I mean, I could download it myself and merge the conflict, but that's probably a bad idea. And then it becomes my contribution to the code instead of you, so you'll have to bring it down. Ooh, nice screenshot there for the console. Yeah, so um, this is, uh, yeah, this is uh, Kishtarn who's working on a console to show debug information from Lua, which is awesome. And I think it's a brilliant idea, but we do have to resolve these merge conflicts. So I'm hoping we get that sorted out soon because I think, because uh, I talked about that, like, hey, if you want to output stuff directly, like we want debug info from Lua that the end user can see. Oh, that metal smelter object, damage system, like, <laughs> copper wiring, fantastic change. These are not changes that I've pulled in yet. Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna be out of the house for a few hours today actually out of town, so I may not be able to oh, fix mining drone station translation. So there we go. Little, little changes over here. I feel that this is a, a better translation. I have to go on faith here that these are, are better. It's shorter. That seems good. Um, Minaria of Robotica as opposed to metal extraction. Oh, a station of, so robotic mining station, I guess. Yeah, I like it. It's shorter. It's good. I'm going to go ahead and merge that pull request. So you guys have been super active, and i got to thank you for that. So I promise you there will be another video. Uh, again, I don't consider this to be a good and proper video, and I apologize for that. Uh, probably there will be one tomorrow instead uh, that will we'll take another look at the Git workflow. And then I still want to do the, uh, the C-sharp tutorial uh, because I think that has a lot of value. So anyway, really excited about how this is going. Just, just really, really, really amazing. Um, the contributions here and actually there have been a lot of there's a few more pull requests in here that are really really good but have been closed because of the merge conflict uh that i really want people to reissue as well so i just you guys have been again it's just been amazing i'm so excited about the progress here you guys are turning my really wonky code into something that's going to be really 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 fantastic and we're gonna have a game to show on our resume guys like that's gonna be one of the highlights here a i think it's gonna be an awesome game to play but b um 
you can throw on your resume, but first of all, any open source contribution is good, but specifically working in a big project that is, you know, multifaceted, faceted, complex, and is a game, throw that on your resume when you're going to look for an awesome job, and it's going to be pretty kick-ass. I actually, I forget, in one of these issues, I have at least one of them assigned to me over here. I got to fix the copyright notices. I got to get my own ass in gear, but I've been spending all my time just managing the pull request so far. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. And there will be another video shortly, probably in a day or two.